Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark here with another LearnDash video. And in this video, we're going to be looking at social learning and how to add this to your LearnDash platform using something called BuddyBoss. Now, social learning is becoming more and more popular. And what it means is that your platform or your method of teaching can allow your learners to talk amongst each other so they can interact with each other. And it makes their learning journey a much less isolating experience because they can talk to each other share information and help one another and you may be familiar with buddy boss within the learn dash circles a lot of people talk about it and buddy boss is a theme and it's a premium theme uh, that you can purchase and download and put onto your learn dash platform and what it will do once you activate it all is turn your learning platform almost into sort of a social network. So what you'll find is that you see other people who are registered onto your courses and you can create groups of users. And I'm logged in to a platform here with a number of, of fictitious learners here, but what you'll find is that you can connect with other people here. So if I just find someone here, you can click on connect here to connect with another person see their timeline and connections and things like that. But once you're connected, so I've got a connection here that has accepted my connection request. I can then message them and, you know, just chat with other users in the system and share this information and help each other out. So this video is mainly intended for someone who uses LearnDash that wants to know how to implement BuddyBoss and potentially create some groups of, of learners on their platform. So I have a group in LearnDash and what I'll do is I'll switch to an admin view here and show you what groups I have set up here. So I have two groups, one called Home Tech April 2022 and one called Eco Water March 2022 and each has a number of users uh, in them. And what I want to do using BuddyBoss is allow these 26 users within the home tech group to chat with each other and uh, you know dis discuss uh, the course and, and be able to have a discussion forum. And BuddyBoss makes it really easy to do this. So what we're going to do is integrate BuddyBoss with LearnDash. And what you'll find is that BuddyBoss has its own sense of groups here. So this might be a bit confusing at first, but LearnDash has groups, which you may be familiar with as you're coming at this video from a LearnDash perspective. But BuddyBoss also has social groups. And what you can do is sync the two here. So what I'm going to do is create a new group, a new social group in BuddyBoss called Home Tech. April 2022. I'm just going to publish that. And what we can do is set up something called a social group here. And um, I'll show you soon how we can synchronize Learn Dash groups with BuddyBoss groups and automatically bring those learners into one of these social groups. On the right hand side, you can show the group privacy and whether or not you want other members to be able to join. What I'm going to do for the purposes of this, because I want this to be a closed group, is set it to be hidden. I only want organizers to invite other people. I want to allow all members to be able to post to this group. And I want to allow only organizers to be able to moderate messages within this group. We can have the discussion forum here, uh, which I will do, but I haven't set up a discussion forum yet. So I'm just going to save changes there. And what we've done there is created our social group. As part of this, you can also have group Zoom calls and connect this to Zoom, but I won't go into that in this video, but there's a lot of features that you can do with BuddyBoss uh, within their, their groups. So to attach to this social group, I'm just going to create a new forum here, and I'm going to call this Home Tech April 2022 Discussion. I'm going to say this is a closed forum and visibility hidden. And I'm just going to publish that. So we now have a discussion forum and a group. 
And I'm going to go back into that group and now I can tick this, yes, I want this group to have a discussion forum and I'm going to select this discussion forum here and then click save changes. So what we've got now is a buddy boss group that has a forum, but it's got no members in it. And what I want to do now is bring my learn dash group members over into that buddy boss social group so that each of these learners here will have a group that they can interact with each other and they'll have a discussion forum. So if I switch back to my learner account here, I have a groups option here, but there's nothing there. It just says, sorry, no groups were found. So I'm going to go back to my admin account and what I'm going to do is enable something in BuddyBoss that would allow us to automatically synchronize LearnDash groups with BuddyBoss groups. So if we head over to BuddyBoss and then integrations, if you have LearnDash installed, what you will find is that there's a LearnDash option here that we can select. And what we want to do is enable group sync from LearnDash groups to BuddyBoss social groups here. And we can tick this and it will bring up some more options. And there are a few cool features here. So you can automatically create social groups for any learn dash groups you create subsequently. So in the example here, I already have the, had those groups created. So I had to manually create those social groups, but you can set it so that it will automatically create a buddy boss social group for any learn dash groups that you create. You can set the privacy of the social groups uh, that are created if you do do this um, automatic creation. And I'm going to set that to hidden. You can set group invite statuses as well there. And other things like you can automatically delete the social group if the learn dash group is deleted. And it's just a, a nice way, some nice simple features there uh, that will automatically sync those. So if I now save those settings, what we'll find is that our groups can now be synced. So for the one that I created earlier, what I need to do is head to the group, the Learn Dash group, sorry, and we'll go to this Home Tech April 2022 group. And with this setting enabled, on the right hand side, we will now have a, a feature here saying, yes, I want this group to have a social group and I can tick it and select the social group that I created there. And now I'll click update. And now what we'll find is that those groups are now synchronized. So any users within this LearnDash group, all these 26 users will also be a member of this HomeTech Able 2022 social group. And in turn, so you can see here members 27, in turn, they will have access to a discussion forum and be able to talk amongst each other. So let's have a look at what that's done. I will switch back to my learner account here. And just to remind you of how I got here, uh, I went to um, the profile here, I went to groups, and we can see that we now have this social group. So now I can click into this and see all the other members within this LearnDash group. I can connect with each of them if I want to. I can also go to this discussion section here. Oh, the uh, discussion forum actually, if I switch back to that, needs to be set to open because at the moment it's, it's blocking these. I, I will open that back up. Sorry about that. So if I now refresh that, we have a discussion forum and I can create a new discussion of this person here and say, hi everyone, just introducing myself. And you can see email, you know, get emails or any notifications if you want to, but if I now post that, that would now be available to anyone in this social group and they would all be able to talk amongst themselves in this group and help each other along. So we think this is a really useful feature and something that will really help to elevate your LearnDash courses. And if, if you deliver 
you're training two groups, it just makes sense to be able to allow those to be able to talk to each other and help each other along. And uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely the direction that online learning is going. So we hope you find this useful. And if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more videos of this kind. Thanks.